Hello and welcome to Back in History. Back in History sets out to refresh our memories on the events that took place in the historical past. In this edition, we bring to you the story of the first female pilot in Ghana and the first female pilot in the whole of West Africa. Her name, Melody Millicent Dankwa. Melody Millicent Dankwa was born on 6th January 1937. Her father's name was Ibinija Rexford Addo Dankwa. Her father was a court registrar and an arbitrator in Ghana. Her mother was Selina Gamfi. Her parents had a total of 10 children and Melody was the sixth child. Melody grew up under the care and guidance of her parents. And when she became of age, she was enrolled in elementary school. She was educated at the Methodist primary and middle schools in Latte, and also educated at the Wesley Girls High School in Cape Coast. She also attended the government secretarial school, or in Ghana. In 1963, the then president of Ghana, President Kwame Nkrumah, requested that women should be recruited into the Ghana Air Force. Following the president's request, a newspaper advertorial was published by the Ghana Air Force. A couple of women applied, but few were chosen. Millicent was one of the few that was chosen. She was chosen among the first three women to be trained into the Ghana Air Force as pilots. Millicent performed creditably in training to the admiration of her flight instructors. She made the grade in all her courses. She later attended the Ghana Military Academy for basic military training a prerequisite for pilots. She was found worthy by her instructors to move the plane and go solo into the skies and on 22nd June 1964, flight cadet Melody Millicent Dankwa flew solo for the first time in an aircraft and thus broke the record as the first female Ghanaian to fly an aeroplane solo. She arrived at her destination and landed safely. From then on, she flew severally to the admiration of many. She received her wings on April 15, 1965, recognizing her as a fully trained pilot. This was presented to her by Kofi Baka, who was the Minister of Defense in Ghana at the time. Millicent became an instant inspiration for thousands of women in Africa and a symbol of pride to the government of Ghana. Millicent had several flights to her record and in June 1968 she ended her flight career and began to do administrative work in the Ghana Air Force. In 1984, she was discharged from the Air Force due to the state of her health at the time and following her request in that regard. She received a long service award and the Efficiency Medal in recognition of her services to Ghana. Following her retirement from the military, she worked for the World Food Program for a brief period and then with the National Service Secretariat. Millicent was a deeply religious person, and at the age of 60, she earned a diploma in Bible studies and theology and began to preach to military audiences in her home country of Ghana. She later joined the board of directors for the Ghana Institute of Management and Public Administration. In 2006, she was honored with the award of the Companion of the Order of the Volta by President John Kufo 
for being a courageous pest setter from Ghana. Millicent died on 16th March 2016. At the 2017 International Women's Day celebration, the First Lady of Ghana, Mrs. Rebecca Nana Kufuado, took her time to praise the styling qualities of Let Melody Millicent Dankwa and applauded her for being an inspiration to women and for breaking the barriers of limitations usually thought about the girl child. Millicent came, saw, and conquered at a time when there were little or no opportunities for the girl child. She remains in the annals of African history as a symbol of inspiration to many and her name will continue to resonate as a trailblazer for many more years to come. Thanks for watching this edition of Back in History and do remember to subscribe to the channel or follow the page for regular notifications on every new video.